Hello adventurers and welcome to another Black Desert Mobile video. This one's not going to be like a specific guide or anything. This is just going to be me going over the most recent changes um, to the game. And I just kind of wanted to give you my thoughts and also just like a quick rundown of the things that have happened. Um, overall, I think that this is one of the best things that have happened <laughs> this year. That's that's like a joke. Obviously, this is the first patch. Um, but honestly, like one of the best thing that has happened for the game in like a really long time like this makes the game so much easier so much nicer to play um it makes it feel a lot less grindy or that you have to play like manually a lot so um so with that being said let's just go ahead and look at what they actually changed so the featured update is the great desert revamp that is all i'm actually going to cover there was a little bit more but the great desert is really the thing that i wanted to talk about so obviously the great desert is key content in black desert mobile this is like the best thing that you can be doing for your cp progression getting adonis coins is really really good and previously like if you've seen any of my videos I go over like farming routes sometimes it, it was really hard to get coins um, or like other times for certain CP players you could get a lot of coins like I was getting on average like 500,000 per hour um, but that was with a flute of course so and then other people they would get like 300k so um, it really just depended on how well you optimize the routes and then like how good you were at manually farming so um, that felt a little bit unfair. It did feel like there was a little bit more skill involved. However, it was very, very taxing to manually farm that way. So this update made it really nice where you can basically just auto farm um, in the Great Desert. So let's just look at all of these and then I'll kind of talk about what I've been talking about this whole time. So they have improved monsters in the Great Desert to respawn more quickly after defeat added black rock altars to all locations where mobs spawn so they've actually changed a lot of the spawns throughout the entire map so that was really cool to see so any of the routes that i had before throw them out the window those are no longer viable it doesn't even matter this is a hard reset and um, i think this is a great way to start off the year so they've also adjusted the number of monsters that must be defeated to activate the black rock altar so before it would be like you just had to kill that group of monsters now it's like you have to kill that group of monsters three or four times um, and then the black rock altar will will spawn um, however those black rock altars they do give a little bit less um, coins depending on the location that you're at but um, I'll talk about that again here in a little bit so they have increased the HP of monsters in the great desert I didn't notice that actually so that's that's a good thing that I just read that but um, they do feel pretty much the same but it does seem a little bit more like Everfrost where you have to hit them a few more times it's not like they have like insane DP or anything it's just that you have to hit them a few times with your skill rotations and then they'll be dead obviously if like the monsters are like way below your CP you'll still one shot them um, but yeah they have also adjusted the time required for Great Desert Loot to reappear from 3 minutes to 6 minutes. So this is like whenever you see one of those loot chests on the floor that you have to manually pick up. They have increased the spawn time for this so um, you won't be seeing that as often but it does kind of make sense because you're gonna be standing still in one place anyways uh, but then also your fairy skill it <laughs> it wouldn't be able to keep up anyways so uh, another great thing is they decrease the weight of appraisal items looted from the great desert monsters by 50% so now you won't be weighed down as quickly you can stay out farming a little bit longer so they've also changed to obtain awakens ascension skill book chests instead of awaken ascension skill books uh, and Great Desert. Okay, so now you'll be getting the chest rather than just the skill books themselves. So that's pretty good. And then they've also changed to obtain passive skill book chests instead of novice expert skill. Okay, so this is pretty good. Getting the passive skill book chests, obviously, like you don't need that many to get maxed out, but um, these are the changes. And then they've also made some changes to the fairy, but I'm not really here to talk about this. I really just want to talk about um, the desert revamp. Actually, I, I'll talk about the fairy really quickly anyways. Um, so this is what I was talking about where um, your fairy wouldn't be able to, to keep up with with this drop timer for the loot. So from three minutes to six minutes, I think the fastest your fairy can loot is like six minutes and 20 seconds or so. I'll pull that up here in a second, but they made it where these skills are, are accessible early on. So um, now instead of having to be like, I think it's resonance five or something like that, it's, it's just um, resonance one or above. So it's pretty easy, pretty easy to get. Um, 
Let's take a look. Yeah, so it's just that. But that's pretty much it. Again, there are other updates. This uh, Black Spirit mode update was really, really nice. I feel like they still need to work on this a bit more just because I did enjoy doing Black Spirit mode fishing, and that's not an option here anymore. So um, please bring that back. But uh, I will leave that be for now, and then let's go ahead and let's take a look at the desert. So actually, really quickly, let's, let's go back to the ferry. So go into the skill. Um, if you have auto pickup, this is probably going to be pretty good to do whenever you are uh, farming in the desert, especially if you're going to be AFKing because you will be getting a lot of these loot chests and you don't want those to disappear. Some of them give like a really good amount of, of um, Adonis coins, so make sure that you're getting those either like check in on your character every 10 minutes or just have this equipped and you won't have to do anything. And then obviously whenever you're farming, always make sure that you're having this Blackrock Altar auto offering on. It offers every 30 seconds, which is roughly about how often that you'll be getting one of those uh, black rock altars so uh, what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and let's go to the desert really quickly and then I'll tell you a little bit more about the changes and I'll kind of show you like the spots that I think that you should be farming um, and just more or less how it works I guess so when you're here in the desert you're just gonna go to any one of these groups of, uh, of monsters any group that there is that's kind of like of this size or uh, or bigger will have an altar right here so that's pretty good i did want to say this though uh, depending on the cp you'll be getting a lot more adonis coins also you're not going to be getting as many appraisal items so as you can see i just killed all of this this spawn right here and I didn't get that many appraisal items. I got like maybe three. Whereas before, you would get an appraisal item for pretty much every kill that you you did. Um, so that's kind of interesting. You're going to be getting a lot more coins just from killing the monsters rather than from the appraisal items themselves. But then also, as you just saw, it took me a few rounds of killing these monsters to actually get this, uh, this black rock altar to spawn. And it only spawned giving me about a thousand coins. So again, it's not like, it's not like the best amount of coins, but it's something. But then also like the range of coins that I'm getting is pretty wide. I'm getting up to 80 and then I'm also getting like on average, like 60 or so. So it's not that bad. Let's just look at the CP for this. So the way that I've been looking at the great desert now is, um, most of these monsters, you should just be killing them based on CP. Any of the old routes or any of the old coins that you used to get, like throw that out the window and mostly just be looking at how many coins am I getting per kill on average. And then also, am I killing it fast enough where by the time I've killed the last monster, am I standing still like this? So I'm literally standing still doing nothing, which means I'm killing this group of monsters just a little bit too fast. So what I would want is um, a group that I'm, I'm pretty much one-shotting, but I'm not outpacing the spawn rate basically, because I don't want any downtime where I'm not doing anything. So um, what I would say is like, go for monsters right around your CP range. So I'm at 56.8K and then these monsters are like what? They're like 45k or so. What I've noticed though is the best monsters to be killing are the ones that are here in Outlaw Zone. They give the most coins obviously because like they're the highest CP. But some of the spawns are, are pretty big. Me personally, these are the two spots that I use right now. I'm going to be testing out which ones are the best. If you should be doing Elite Crescent Cultists, Mukin Fighters, uh, Mukin Soldiers, uh, Centaur Seekers. So I'll be doing new spots for these monsters. And I'm going to be testing out like the coins for just the monsters themselves. And then I'm going to be testing out the coins for certain spots for those monsters as well. Obviously, it kind of depends on like what your CP is, but... Um, I do really think that the outlaw zone is the place to be farming right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's go to one of these spots. So that way I can show you like, I guess a little bit more tips, um, but also just show you like the coins increased based on the CP that they have kind of feels bad that I just left that shrine, but it's okay. Okay. So now that I'm walking up to this spot, the thing that I wanted to take note of was, um, First of all, there's a violent mob over there, but then also what I'm kind of looking at is the group of the, the spawn. I want it to be on one side because I don't like it whenever, um, 
like the altar is smack dab in the middle of the entire group it just kind of makes it a little bit more awkward to farm uh, I feel like the monsters have to run a little bit further to you so uh, this is like my first recommendation is always make sure that you you're at a spot where most of the monsters are, are like just grouped together on one side um, but again just kind of going back to this violent mob right here you've actually or they've actually increased the amount of coins that you get for violent mobs so um, I'm gonna go ahead and kill this one right here and then I'll just kind of show you but uh, just while I kind of whittle this one down like take notice that also these Adonis coins that I'm getting it's about a hundred and ten a hundred I'll say like a hundred on average is that I'm getting but then also I'm waiting for the violent mob to pop up I killed it um, let's see so 2150 I just got from that violent mob and then also from this altar I got more coins as well so based on the difficulty that you're you're in or, or the monsters that you're killing you'll get more coins base but then also you'll get more coins from the violent mobs and then also you'll get more coins from the black rock altar and then as you can see like I'm kind of killing it at a decent pace I'm not outpacing uh, the spawn rate for them so um, so this is like more or less what I'm looking for is I'm getting more coins I'm not standing around doing nothing these monsters are all pretty much in range of me um, and they're like running to me immediately so this is what I'm looking for in a spot what I would also say is there are other spots that are like bigger than this these are just like the first spots that I've pulled out so far um, so again I will be testing these I'll, I'll be going through different spots and I'll release different videos for each one of these um, these CP ranges I guess but yeah I just wanted to share like these these short little tips as well as kind of praise like this is a really really good update I I love this um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off server chat um, but I love this update it's a great way to get coins I'm actually I'm not sure if I'm getting more or less coins than I was before I'm pretty sure it's more coins but I, I guess only time will tell I haven't like done a full hour to, to figure that out but at least this is something where I can just sit back AFK not really do anything obviously for me like the issue is that I have yet to um, level up the skill for fairy so I'm gonna have to be doing this pretty soon is just um, get my own intellect learn it max it out and then make sure to put this on on uh, her skill tree whenever I do plan on farming I think what I'm gonna be doing is mostly like uh, I'll save my water for a week and then my guild normally pops a lot of these um, hot times whenever it's either Monday or Tuesday so because this is an update like this is obviously like desert related like we're gonna be popping a lot of these uh, these flutes so that's kind of what I would recommend to you as well is like save all of your water do all of it at once and then um, make sure that you have the right skills equipped for fairy because I don't always want this skill equipped I will only want it whenever I'm gonna be farming so um, just kind of keep that in mind and then also this is a little bit off topic but um, I did want to say like this makes doing your um, exploration log a lot easier just because like you don't have to be running around to be farming these monsters you can just sit in one place kill 400 of them and then you're you're done with that that part so uh, you can do this with cadres nagas centaurs everything uh, so sit there kill a few of them for a little bit like maybe five minutes or so and then move on to the next spot um, I did want to say this as well obviously I'm doing this in Shazad but all of this stuff is applicable if you're um, even if you're in like Torm or in Amur deserts, just go for a monster that is like a high CP and is still something that you can kill pretty quickly, like within a couple of auto attacks. I would, or within a couple of skills, I would say maybe like 3,000 to 4,000 CP difference. Like if you're 3,000 or 4,000 CP higher than that monster, that's probably a good spot for you, anyways. So a couple more things that I wanted to say really quickly was this uh, hot time just because I had brought it up uh, this applies to field item drop rate so I believe that's just talking about the appraisal items and it might also be talking about like the loot chests that you can be getting which I had talked about earlier um, I just wanted to mention that just in case someone had a question about that but um, it's not gonna be increasing the coins to my knowledge <laughs> so I could be wrong 
<laughs> so just kind of keep that in mind. I, I can always be wrong. It could apply to the Adonis coins, but to my knowledge, it does not apply to the coins. It's just the um, appraisal items and those loot chests. But um, the last thing that I wanted to talk about was actually picking a class that is good for kills per minute so depending on like which class you're in you could be killing these monsters a little bit faster to my knowledge the best classes right now for kills per minute are wizard wusa igneous someone said phantasma before i play her so i i don't actually <laughs> i don't know um but those are pretty good and then also maybe like choryong but uh, what I would do is like figure out like a good farming class and then make that your character copy if you're not comfortable with the class that you're using now. Um, I think like mid mid range characters like mine, something that throws out a lot of spells or uh, skills really quickly, um, that's probably what you're looking for and has pretty good AOE. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say. So please let me know what you thought about this update in the comments below. I'm actually really enjoying this. I love this. Uh, this is a great update. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.